Now this journey through the Canadian Rockies will provide us with the coldest temperatures, sketchiest drives and best backcountry skiing I've ever experienced. After arriving in Kelowna, we got to experience what Canadian winters look like. With temperatures up to minus 25 degrees, the first ride up the chairlift in Big White was a quite frosty one. The cold temperatures make the snow super light and we kept ourselves warm by avoiding the fast runs and going into the backcountry. behind we drove deeper into the mountains. A 350 km journey on icy roads took us all day to finally arrive at our second destination, Nelson BC. Because of its steep hills, Nelson Ski Resort Whitewater was one of my favorites. Now after two amazing days of skiing we headed to Banff where we experienced one of the sketchiest car rides I've ever had. I've never seen it snowing that hard before. Everything was white. After we made it down the pass safely the sky cleared and we finally made it to Banff. While the skiing in Banff wasn't my favorite, the nature was just breathtaking, as there's so much else to see and discover. Now while the snow quality on our trip has been good in general, we haven't experienced a day of fresh powder yet. Little did we know what the next night had in stock for us when we made it to Kicking Horse. Just after Rogers Pass, we stopped in the beautiful village of Revelstoke for our last stop. The sky opened up and we could experience once more the beautiful, breathtaking mountainscape British Columbia has to offer. of all my travels, this has been one of my favorite trips so far. The amazingly beautiful landscapes of Alberta and BC just took my breath away. With winter just around the corner, I'm looking forward to what snow adventures this year has to offer. Straight! Until next time. Straight!